The Istanbul Terminal area is one of the busiest in Ekak with the main airports, Atatürk and Sabiha Gökçen, handing up to 2,200 aircraft movements each day. Traffic numbers are increasing each year, but there is limited scope for the further expansion to accommodate this demand. So the decision was taken to build a new airport serving Istanbul that will be uh, capable of meeting future growth. The Istanbul new airport will have with multiple runways introduced in phases, new terminals and fast access to city through new train and road links. In the first phase, two runways will open and support parallel runway operations at the new airport as well as the existing airports. The HMI have radically redesigned the Istanbul terminal area. This includes new arrival and departure routes and the use of a point merge system to help sequence landing flights to the two primary airports, all in full accordance with ICAO regulation. This radical design needs extensive testing and validation with air traffic controllers in a realistic environment. It is essential to show that the design is safe and support to predict the traffic levels in normal and unusual conditions such as strong winds or thunderstorms. To achieve these real-time simulations are required, so DHMI approached Eurocontrol to assist them in developing a simulation that could validate the design and associated controller procedures, assess the benefit and ensure controller buy-in. Eurocontrol and DHMI have previously worked together and DHMI knew that we were capable to provide a simulator with the scale and flexibility needed. For complex projects like this, together with the expertise needed to prepare and evaluate the design. The aim is to produce simulation that is both technically and operationally realistic. We want to replicate all aspects of the future environment as accurately as possible to enable robust and extensive validation. A real-time simulation is an excellent tool to look at the human side of the new working environment. We look at the controller's actions and distractions. We have designed 11 scenarios during which we record their interventions and their feedback. And this provides us with comprehensive information on potential sources of controller overload, which may imply the risk of a controller losing the mental picture of the traffic situation on potential sources of human error and we look at how well the working procedures work and we look at their teamwork. At the end of the project we deliver a report that provides answers to all the operational and human factors questions that we have carefully elaborated during the preparation of the real-time simulation. I would like to congratulate our Turkish colleagues for their exceptional implication in this project and I'm looking forward for a smooth transition and implementation of the new airport and the airspace surrounding that will ensure a safe and efficient operation for the NSP and for the airspace users in the future.